want something different for lunch today. I don't want the same old salad with grilled chicken. And I had some ahi tuna that my mom's neighbor caught uh, over the summer. We cryovacked it and freezed it. So I took it out and I thought last night, kept it in the fridge. So I have it here and I just cleaned it up, sliced it, because I'm thinking a spring roll. I'm using the rice paper. All you have to do is dip it in water, I'll show you. I'm filling it with a ton of veggies. Sear tuna is our protein. If you don't have tuna and you want to use shrimp, feel free. You want to put tofu, make it vegetarian or vegan, awesome. I'm making a quick garlic soy scallion dipping sauce. Just saying, sounds pretty tasty. Now, I love this brand, okay? I actually get them on Amazon, so you can order them on there. But everything else is from ShopRite. These are kind of hard to find, like at ShopRite and Bhutan, but Amazon has these. So I just want to tell you what I have here so we're on the same page. You can use whatever veggies you want. I had a little bit of cabbage, so I shredded that thin. I have sweet peppers, sliced julienne. I have scallions, and then I shredded a carrot. Um, this would be a great lunch or dinner to do with the kids, and they can make their own veggie spring rolls or their own shrimp or tuna so that they're, like everyone's interacting or whatnot. So I'm. this is on the side. This is ready to go when we're ready to do this. This is quick too. Uh, first thing we gotta do is season up our tuna, salt and pepper, and I'm gonna get a hot pan on because we're gonna sear it rare, two minutes, not even, on each side. Make sure your pan is smoking, smoking hot. Um, let's go to the range so we can sear it, let it rest, slice it, put it in the roll, and roll it on up. I just used a little bit of avocado oil and we have our tuna right here. Like I said, seasoned salt and pepper. Hot pan, really hot pan. Just putting that right on in. So you see the white right there? It's a really hot pan. They've been in for around 30 seconds, almost a minute. And what you wanna do, ooh, look at that sear. Once you start to see that creep, you wanna turn them. For another minute on the other side, we want to get a nice hard sear. Like I said, I'm doing this rare. So this is like around a minute 15 on each side. Then we're going to let it rest before we do our roll. Tuna is seared and it's to the side. I'm going to add our soy, light soy, low sodium. This is rice wine vinegar, white vinegar, and a splash of agave. This is fresh garlic and toasted sesame seeds. And just gonna make sure I get, I, the garlic is finely minced and some scallions. I'm gonna whisk this up and keep this on the side. That's our dipping sauce. That was really hard to say no, but it's amazing. Okay, so you take your rice paper, super thin, shallow dish, warm water. You're gonna rest your paper in. You wanna kind of move it around with your hands to get all the corners in. Um, there's so many things you could do with this. It's going to take a minute or two. You're just going to kind of work it. You'll see it will just all of a sudden become solidified and really pliable. Um, but it's getting there. I'm just flipping it back and forth using my hands to massage the warm water. Don't use too hot of water because it happens really fast and it gets mushy. Warm, lukewarm water like, is good. Okay. It's right there. We are there. Hold on. One more flip. It's like, it becomes like loose jelly, see? Now we put it on our board and we start to fill it. So our rice paper, you take it, it's right on our board. I'm gonna put some cabbage down in the middle, couple peppers, some shredded carrots, a little bit of fresh scallion. Then I'm gonna take one piece of my tuna, put it in the middle, a little bit more cabbage on top, and now I'm gonna roll it. So you're gonna pull your rice paper over. You're gonna tuck it kind of like a burrito you're gonna make. And then you're gonna roll again. Whoop, slap away, sucker. And keep tucking the edges until it's sealed, pull. And you have a beautiful spring veggie eye tuna roll. Our spring roll. Once it gets wrapped, see, it stays together. So you wanna get a sharp knife, cut right down the middle. Let me show you the inside. Perfect. Get your dipping sauce. Get in there. Oh. Oh, this is good. It's so light. 
but the crunch from the cabbage and the peppers, I mean, this is a great dipping sauce. If you want to make it spicy, if you want to make it spicy, add some sriracha to it. Um, these have to be made and eaten right away. The rice paper doesn't hold that long unless you're going to pan sear them or fry them up, but it is the perfect light lunch. Perfect. I'm literally stopping my face right now, but I just want to tell you that this is like so easy and so healthy and so clean. And I think that even with the kids, like if they got to do it and if we did a peanut dipping sauce, we did this with shrimp and the cabbage, like there's endless, endless options here. So I am loving this. And this is honestly like one of my first times doing something like this, but if you've done it before and you're like, duh, Lauren, didn't you know? Um, but if you make it, try it, let us know, DM me. Let me know what you put inside your roll. Who's going to make this? Come on. I want to hear it. I want to know what's going to go inside your spring roll. Oh my god, so good!